For those of us who didn't know or choose to do ostrich mentality, I'm saying Nigeria for sale. Did any of us hear the news some weeks back of how our big brother America mandated for Nigeria to take custody of another tranche of Abacha's returned loot? Our leadership had to sign an undertaking that they would utilize the same returned loot to effect three infrastructural development projects or reimburse the money. In other words, the government of Nigeria would agree to be supervised by the American government or at least their representatives to ensure that this agreement was carried out or else. Some have likened it to when a rich relative agrees to help a poor relative out financially, but due to their irresponsibility only agrees to the agreement or arrangement on condition that they would monitor the intervention directly, be it the child's school fees or the poor relative's children or rent, etc. Under such situations, it's evident that the ap applicant for help has surely hit rock bottom. They don't need anyone to interpret the writing on the wall for them. So, the United States of America makes such a demand of Nigeria, a sovereign nation, never mind that they are culpable for having harbored the illegal loot for so many years, benefiting from the corresponding interest it would have generated. And horror of horrors, Nigeria signs the agreement. Even more troubling is that some of us actually believe that this arrangement is for the best, the lesser of two evils. Before too long, will we not be putting Nigeria up for sale? As my people say, Tori Dombaje, yet it's hardly even made headlines. So here I am flagging it up for us in case we missed it. And make no mistake, this is as audacious and bold a vote of no confidence in our government as we're ever going to get. Our leadership over the years have failed us big time. The only way from here is up. Let all hands be on deck to become politically engaged henceforth. 2023 is just around the corner. Hitherto, we've been brainwashed into believing that the choice was between the twin power-grabbing institutions of APC and PDP, that we neglected to identify the roadmap to our national development or even to fight for it. Hence, we became mere passengers in a not-so-merry-go-round. Now it's time to hop off the helter-skelter and to do what we ought to have done long before now, to build coalitions along the lines of our ideologies or belief systems. What vision of Nigeria do we have? What ideologies do we care enough about to want to preserve for our beloved nation? Such as the empowering of the people's voice, social welfare, inclusivity in decision-making for women and the youth, an expression of tribalism that is complementary and not divisive, developing Afrocentric homegrown solutions such as Chuka has been advocating for to our challenges, restructuring our economy along regional lines and so forth. As we actively engage, we're bound to discover two things or, or more, but that the things that unite us in the name of our nation's good are more than those things that seemingly divide us. And ultimately that the numbers are in our favor since they that are with us are bound to be more than those that are against us. Yeah, well. Amazing stuff. Yeah. Um, I'll pick up from there because you actually spoke about, I'm hoping that the politics will help. Mm. Um, yeah, getting engaged politically. And I can tell you that building coalitions is incredibly, incredibly difficult. I always mock the youth that um, uh, if you want to build coalitions in politics, try and build a coalition on a WhatsApp platform where <laughs> you are admin and, you know, you see the kind of fights that go on there. But it's, it's great to really encourage um, our young people and uh, because we're more in number, like you said. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's that cartoon that depicts um, the situation where you see a lot of people balanced on the edge. The leader is balanced on the edge. A lot of people are the ones standing on the plank on this side. All they need to do is just walk away and that leader will, <laughs> will, fall, yeah. off. That will fall off. So, but... Uh, <laughs> Regarding the U.S. Um, the funds, the, 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 the funny thing about Abacha loot is that uh, our current president used to say that Abacha did not steal money. Yes. And he actually also worked for Abacha as, as, he he as PEF, mm. all right? Yeah. But that's hit speech. Well, I don't know. I'm just stating a fact. He did say that Abacha did not steal yes, money. Yes, he said that. He said people were just lampooning mm. him. So I, I don't know how he feels now no. when that all this money is like coming. And then, of course, now we're now being taught be schooled like children to say you are better use this money look like you rightly said we've hit rock bottom mm -hmm. right. i'm hoping that something will give from henceforth uh, we tried our own luck in politics uh, you know in 2019 it didn't quite work out the way we thought, you know, maybe more... Don't worry, when people, I send my oil well, I will yeah. sponsor oh. you. you know, so it's really very interesting and it's a very terrible situation. You have given us, the, you know, and again, you can see the, the front page of the punch today. 
says that the United, European Union is trying to review their visa policy for Nigeria. Oh yeah. my. You can see that um, the, the they're ganging up against us. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they're even trying to change us. I'm just saying that at some point in time, we will not have a choice or to sit down and fight it out in yeah. this place. Yeah, no, no, Barack on. Obama, when he visited Ghana, he said the solution to the problems of Africa lies in Africa. Um, the U.S. today are what power because they sat down, fixed their ass. Yeah. And, and so it becomes attractive. You go to Dubai, they sat down and say, you know what? Instead of taking our oil money to go spend in the West, let's bring the West to us by mm -hmm. spending our oil money mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. and, and so, here, what do we do? We take ours, we take it to these people. Like you said, they warehouse it, spend it. Spend even they probably that money would have garnered more interest than the, than money the actual itself, fund, yeah. and then they return the fund to you because they still want to play that big brother role. Yeah. You see, we are giving you this money, but we'll tell you how you spend it because mm -hmm. you are you know a developing nation. Mm -hmm. So the only lesson for us is look, this money, instead of taking it out, let us use it here, spend it here, and then that's the only way nobody will detect to us. The problem is you find out our leaders you steal so much, like Ato Zerebe once said. They steal the one they want and the one they don't need. Mm. And then someday you ferry this money abroad, it becomes somebody else's money, it detects to you how to re repatriate yeah, it. Yeah. It should be a lesson to our leaders. Abacha died, that is why we are still, still sending us money from the grave. <laughs> the ones that are here, their money is with them. And yeah. some are in Switzerland oh, and boy. even yeah. in this America. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I, I, I wonder how they go to sleep knowing fully where that people are suffering around them mm. and then the fun meant to all of us. They take it away, keep it somewhere, and it's not doing anything. For they them. have no conscience. That's really all I have to say, because I don't know why anybody would continue to allow these things to, to happen the way they, they do. Kind of your advocacy for me was actually very, very sad. It, I, I looked at it and I thought, wow, you know, where are we really going to go from here? Um, Nigeria is for sale. I think Nigeria has actually been for sale for a long, long time. Sold Nigeria, not for sale. Probably sold. since sold. our... Yeah, sold. Yeah, sold, I mean, you know, sold. for a yeah. long, long time. And yeah. now, I don't even know what we're selling to China, but sure, we're selling something. Yeah. There's something no, China they are is buying, trying no, to No, they are buying buy. a portion of Nigeria now. They <laughs> yeah. didn't come to buy early, but they are buying the only portion They're remaining. buying what's left, exactly. Wow. Um, <laughs> it, it's just too sad. I'm sorry I have to be one of those people that, you know what, I'm not so offended by this whole... USA Supervise them. doing supervision because at least if it means we get three uh, complete yeah, Lagos, projects Bado done Road, out of it, they listed it so I will take that because it's rather than take nothing. Um, but it, it is a shame that now it's outside. We have gotten to the point where we're being supervised by outside forces. So they're, they're telling us to review uh, review the Supreme, Supreme Court's Court, decision. Can you they're telling us that uh, we must spend money in this particular way. Mm -hmm. They're telling us, well, if you don't behave right, we'll review yes, immigration we'll, policy. Yeah. Well, to be honest, Again, I don't mind so much because we, the people, have shown we don't wow. have... No, no, no. It's mm. not because I think it is the way no, to yeah. go. But we, the people, have shown that we, we, don't, we don't seem to have the power yet to fight for ourselves. So even though these people are doing... The, their behavior is oppressive. Mm. Um, I'm not so against it because somehow it may work for in our favor world. for now. Um, I, I hope we will get out of this mess. I hope we will get a leader with some vision who really, truly wants the best for leader this country. But right now, what I see are leaders that see this place as almost a graveyard that is really, I'm going to enter, I'm going to take what's left and, exactly. and let the country I really do, implode. I really do believe that yeah. the leaders don't have any confidence in Nigeria mm. themselves. Mm. themselves. And yes. you know, so there's that externalization. Right. Everything you take, Send it abroad, send it abroad. And mm. you know what? You didn't even, Nigeria has been sold already, in my yeah, view. Sold. Because you didn't even mention the debt problem we have. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We've never owed this much. Well, so we assess the state of the nation, whereas you assess us. Let's see how we're faring, shall we? On sacrificing our sons and daughters, Abisola Abiodun says, diabolic cultural mindsets that, destroys, that destroy others. Hmm, preach. <laughs> Thanks. On Bride Price Must Go, Abiodun Martins, a different Abiodun now, Adeni Rong, has a lot to say. Yeah, Bride Price is not based on the premise that women are commodities to be sold. That's a rather mischievous statement, which is <laughs> tap on the wrist. <laughs> in fact, in most instances, her family members will specifically tell you that their daughter is not for sale. It is for this reason that the bride price is a token and symbolic amount. Of course, there are families, hamlets, and villages that stretch 
and abuse this practice and request large sums. This is the exception rather than the norm. Bride price is actually based on the premise that the bride becomes the husband's responsibility to provide and protect her. It is a, it is a purely symbolic gesture, acknowledging but never paying off the husband's permanent debt to the wife's parents. Chika, mm. <laughs> the young man who said, who said that as long as he paid the bride price, I can cheat and do all manner of things, is thoroughly wrong and should be authoritatively corrected. He has made a selective interpretation of the meaning of bride price. As for those suitors who borrow, beg, or steal to raise a bride price, they are either foolish or ill-advised. If you can't really afford it, don't get married. Mm -mm. Thanks, Abiodun. You certainly got to have your say on that one. Mm. Do keep your comments coming in on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to www.pluscvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. After the break, Tokwe, our guest advocate, asks some pertinent questions in the light of the recent deregistration of political parties. Well, it's, it's, it's going back away now. Take it away, Tokwe. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. That's it, really it, 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 I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize. 